The defenses did what they needed to do, get off the field. Luke Larson, the freshman Australian on the fake. Larson rumbles. Oh, look at the big man go all the way to the 40 and the Pirates with an early decision for a little bit of trickery. <laughs> See if they go back to the freshman, they do. Mitchell up the middle is in. Pirates strike first. Touchdown, East Carolina. And right now, they seem to be up with the challenge. This offense seems to be rolling well. Ehlers rolls to his left, eyes the end zone, and able to hang on for the touchdown. As Blake Prohl gives ECU a two-score lead early in this one. Hoping to get on the board here in this opening frame on their third possession. Bouchelle down the middle, wide open. And Kylan Granson is the tight end to own in your American Fantasy Leagues when SMU faces East Carolina. On their most recent drive, their third possession, able to get in the end zone. Here the reverse option pass. Tyler Sneed will air it out, and he has Prohl. Second touchdown today for Blake Prohl. And the touchdown toss, courtesy of Tyler Sneed, who truly can do it all. Of course, now in year two in Greenville with the Pirates. Shane Bouchel and the Mustangs picked up that first down a moment ago before a Pirate was slow to get up. Ball is stripped away. Pirates looking to take it the distance, and Bouchel will make a touchdown saving stop as Jaira Wilson, the sophomore. A 22 yard strike to Prohl a moment ago for this first and 10. They can pick up another first down. Ehlers, though, eyeing the end zone, back shoulder throw, and it's back to C.J. Johnson. Touchdown, Pirates, and they are turning some heads here in their season finale. Second and goal from seven yards out. Ehlers has Mitchell, Mitchell has speed, and only a blade of grass could intervene. Mitchell stays on his feet, and he'll take it in for the second time today. Well, it's just the perfect play call. What we know is this will not be a handoff to the backup punter, Luke Larson, for a touchdown. Ehlers, plenty of time, does it again, it's Sneed. Mustangs unraveling, Tyler Sneed having himself a day. You, you like to see the bigger back, Levine back in the backfield at 220 pounds. Bouchelle under center will rely on a surge from the big men up front. And he's in. Automatically, you've got man-to-man -man coverage. Bell has a season high, four catches today. Just had two catches all season. Bouchelle off his back foot, puts the perfect loft under it into Bentley. So they've struggled to get the freshman started on the ground game, so they send him downfield and find him through the air. First and goal from two yards down. They give it to the big man, Penix, who does not disappoint. Touchdown, Pirates. As Penix joins the Pirate party today in the end zone. Levine will take it the rest of the way. Touchdown, SMU. Tyler Levine takes it in from five yards down. Now they'll test the hands of Mitchell. He had that's a live football on the kickoff, and that is a freshman SMU. mistake. Mustangs are going to have this football. Oh. oh, the freshman could not afford to do anything but simply fall on that football. It's going to be first and goal, so four tries here for the Mustangs if needed. Levine, Levine untouched. He's got two touchdowns to show for his last two carries. Three and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. Comeback effort from Shane Bouchelle. Into traffic, picked off. Jaquan McMillan with his third pick of his sophomore campaign. Second and 10. Bouchelle, no dinking and dunking here. 
Deja Vu, Jaquan McMillan, J-Mac, his second interception here in the fourth quarter. And that might be the best one of the day. Final score, Pirates hang on 52 to 38 to knock off the Mustangs here a couple days past Thanksgiving.